Income tax conclusions, chapter 33, just by doing the things that you should have done. Those of you in the money market have made a killing by listening to me. I know one person that started listening to me in 1988 and has made probably over a million dollars. He follows me around like a little puppy dog. Folks, do something now to protect yourselves. Even if nothing were happening, the dollar loses value year by year. I can show you that on any graph over the last 50 years. You can even make the graph from your own figures. If you don't do something to protect yourself, I don't want to hear you cry. Call Swiss America Trading now, 1-800-289-2646. That's 1-800-289-2646. One more time for the slow ones. 1-800-289-2646. Hello, you're on the air. Hey, Cooper. How you doing? My name is Scott. You probably heard me call some of the other programs. No, I don't One think of those so. uh, Aryans you don't think exist. Oh, I know they all exist out there. Yeah, because uh, actually uh, you, you got it wrong, where, where, or wherever you looked it up in, you got it wrong about three weeks ago. Um, Caucasian race is subdivided traditionally into Semitic, Hamitic, and Indo-European, which is also called Aryan. Um, and uh, that uh, rap you played a little while ago was uh, entertaining, but I'm not sure that it contributes much to rational thinking, um, which is something that I see some problems with in your discourse. Um, but, uh, especially, I, what I don't understand is how you relate the New World Order to Hitler. Hitler was a bull in a china shop in the world community. Hitler was a stupid asshole who lost a whole army fighting a war in the middle of winter. He didn't even give them overcoats. He consulted astrologer. He was a jerk. He, well, what about Roosevelt? Is Roosevelt a good guy? Roosevelt was a jerk, too. He was a screaming socialist. But who won the war? Roosevelt? No. He didn't? No. He didn't? No. Well, uh, T tell me, uh, isn't it true that when Roosevelt went into Washington, he brought in hordes of communists with him? And didn't Martin Bees, the chairman of the House Un-American Activities Committee, say you For some reason, you think that I support Roosevelt. I don't support any socialist. I don't support Roosevelt. I don't support Hitler. I don't support any socialist in the world. Well, why do you bash Hitler when Hitler ain't because around anymore? It's Roosevelt's legacy we've got to live with. Because Hitler was a socialist, and it is Hitler's techniques that he perfected that are going to be used in the New World Order to put you in chains while you can look at your little savior Hitler <laughs> portrait on the, war, on the wall of your cell until you rot. You mean, you mean like the big lie? Is that the theory you mean? Is, is what the theory? The big lie. That's one thing that Hitler's always blamed for is the big lie theory. Hitler used the big lie all the time. Well, you know what? A lot of times the passage in Mein Kampf where Hitler talks about the big lie is taken out of context. What he says there is that this is something that you... No, no, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're sitting there telling me that Hitler didn't use the big lie... You're coming down on me because I know that he used the big lie. And then you, then you, then you, then you, then you quote his words as he outlined the use of the big lie in Mein Kampf. What kind of double-talking jerk are you? I didn't catch what you just said. <laughs> but anyway. I don't think you caught what you read in Mein Kampf either. Another thing is, uh, no, if, if you look in there, he talks about how the Jews blamed Ludendorff for the loss in the First World War. Um, it, you can look it up in the index of Mein Kampf. And you see the whole quotation, you see that he's not saying that he can use the big lie. He's saying this is something that's been used, and he's against it. Uh, another thing, 
Well, 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 wait a minute. I read Mein Kampf. I know exactly what he said. He proposed using it. He said it's the best way to get the masses to go along is to use the big lie because they would believe it over a small lie. And he put it no, to no, use no, 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 consistently no. in the Third Reich. He says that's what the Jews did. He says that, uh, I mean, because I've seen this in action. It's very Jewish. I have a Jewish history professor at the university I attend who tells... Are you, are you a Jew? Huh? Are you Jewish? Of course not. Then why are you perpetrating the big lie right now? That's a hollow accusation. No, it's not a hollow accusation. That's what I'm hearing from you. <laughs> what, what big lie am I perpetrating? That there's a superior race called Aryan well, that creates...